ഫാദർ ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ സൺ ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് മുംബൈ താബോർ റിട്രീറ്റ് സെന്റർ വിഷസ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു എവറി ഗ്രേസ് ആൻഡ് ബ്ലെസ്സിംഗ് ഓഫ് അവർ ലോഡ് ജീസസ് ഫോർ ലവിംഗ് ജീസസ് വി താങ്ക് യു പ്രൈസ് യു ആൻഡ് അഡോർ യു വി സറണ്ടർ എവറി വൺ ഓഫ് എസ് ഇൻ ടു യുവർ ഹാൻഡ്സ് ആസ് വി ലിസൺ ടു ദിസ് വേൾഡ് വി താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ഓൾ ദ ബ്ലെസ്സിംഗ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രേസസ് യു ഹാവ് സവേർഡ് ഓൺ അവർ ലൈഫ് we believe that it is you who always guide us in our life and we proclaim to the whole world that you are our god and we believe that you are still alive for so jesus we are people who are always going through lot of pains struggles and troubles of our life but we remember your word you tell us call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver you and you will glorify me o oh jesus deliver us from all the fears all the troubles of our life and give us a thankful heart that we may always remember and recollect the blessings that you shower on our life so jesus give us a new heart give us a burning heart as we listen to your word amen Dear brothers and sisters let's listen to a passage from the gospel according to Luke chapter 17 verses from 11 to 19 On the way to Jerusalem Jesus was going to the region between Samaria and Galilee As he entered a village ten lepers approached him keeping their distance they called out saying Jesus master have mercy on us when he saw them he said to them go and show yourselves to the priests and as they went they were made clean then one of them when he saw that he was healed turned back praising god with a loud voice he prostrated himself at jesus feet and thanked him and he was a samaritan then jesus asked were not ten made clean but the other nine where are they was none of them found to return and give praise to god except this foreigner then he said to him get up and go on your way your faith has made you well Dear brothers and sisters, it's a beautiful passage from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 17, verses from 11 to 19. There the word tells us that Jesus was going through a region between Samaria and Galilee. And this region, it had a speciality that it was a place where the lepers were living. And now ten lepers came to the Lord. They were leading a very... terrible a very painful life because they were never allowed to come close to the society and to the fellow human beings and the rules stipulated that they had to keep at least 50 yards away from others and whenever they make their way they had to give signs to others that they are making their way sometimes they had to ring the bells or cry aloud that we are coming so others may be able to keep themselves clean it was a case of ritual purity also because if someone touched a leper then he becomes impure he becomes unholy so immediately that person also had to undergo a ritual cleansing and that's why the word tells as he entered a village ten lepers approached him keeping the distance they called out saying jesus master have mercy on us here also when they come to jesus they are afraid when they come to the lord they are afraid and they keep their distance from jesus but they believed in their heart there was only one person to heal them there was only one person to save them because they were excluded totally excluded from the mainstream of the community and no one was there to support them to help them to love them so now they find the complete trust in jesus the acts of the apostles 
chapter 4, verse 12. It's a familiar word for all of us. The word tells us, there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. Dear brothers and sisters, it's a very blessed, graceful realization these lepers are having. That they have salvation only in Jesus. And they cry aloud, like blind Bartimaeus. The same prayer, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Now, they approach the Lord as a group. And the word tells us, there was also a Samaritan among them. All other lepers might have been Jews. But the word tells us, there was also a Samaritan among them. Usually there were no dealings between the Samaritans and the Jews. But now they are together. That means this common pain, this common disease, this worry has brought them together as one group. And now there is no distinction. There is no discrimination on the basis of language, on the basis of religion or any other worldly things. They all come together to the Lord to make their prayer. Now, Jesus told them, go and show yourselves to the priests. As they went, they were made clean. It means that Jesus was really moved with compassion. He knew that they did not have anyone to help them. So, immediately he tells them to go and show themselves to the priests. Now, since it is a case of the ritual purity, they are going to the priest to show themselves. And on the way, they all were healed. A miracle happened in their life. They really experienced the power, the strength of God in their life. Then, one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. A beautiful message a beautiful message is given by this word. Dear brothers and sisters, this man turned back from the way he was moving ahead. This turning back is so important in our life too. This turning back symbolizes or points to the fact how grateful we are before God. Sometimes we human beings most often become ungrateful before God and before others. We receive very many blessings, unseen blessings in our life. But we do not count those blessings. We forget those blessings. And we forget also God and the people who have showered these blessings into our life. So now, today gospel reminds every one of us to be thankful in our life. To have a grateful heart. It's very important to have a grateful heart before God. Because if God had not protected us, if God was not carrying us in His arms, surely there were, there were times when we would have even lost our life itself. So dear brothers and sisters, we have to be always thankful before God. That's why the psalmist reminds us, Psalm 103, 103, verses from 1 onwards we read, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all His benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. See, dear brothers and sisters, He forgives our iniquity. He heals our diseases. He gives us His love. He gives, gives Himself to us. But even then, we forget to thank God. Sometimes, most of us, when we come in prayer before Jesus, we place so many conditions before Him. We raise the list of our intentions, prayers before Him. And we indirectly tell the Lord, only if you grant these conditions, these prayers, I will remain faithful to you. I will remain close to you. Otherwise, I have so many other places, other persons 
to trust in I will go to them here brothers and sisters we should not become people who who will be faithful to Jesus only if our prayers are heard but we have to keep in mind that he has given us more than we deserved in our life so today the word invites us to be faithful to be grateful to God for us this turning back in our life is so important we all might have heard about the huge ship titanic and the disaster happened to it the newspaper washington post reported about this disaster in this way it could have been avoided why because it was a great event the ship was all set for its first journey the whole world was waiting to witness its first journey and so many people were part of it it began to move as it covered a quite comfortable distance the telephone in the engine room began to make noise it began to ring there was also a person who had to take care of it but he did not care it he was immersed in some personal interest in his own matters finally he felt it as a disturbance and now he takes the receiver in his hands from the other end he heard a voice the voice was this there is a huge iceberg on your way so it's very dangerous so you reverse the engine of the ship he was totally terrified and now he kept the receiver back and tried to reverse the engine but the history tells us he did not get any more time he did not have any more time and the ship hit the huge iceberg and began to sink into the deep waters it was the greatest disaster that the world had ever seen dear brothers and sisters it's an invitation that we all listen to every day in our life you have to turn back you have to reverse the engine from the way you are going ahead the book of baruch chapter 4 verse 28 god would tell us for just as you were disposed to go astray from god return with tenfold zeal to seek him that means we have to turn back to god to thank him here this leper he returned to jesus he returned to the lord to thank him for the mighty blessing he received in his life and jesus tells he was a samaritan that means he was a foreigner he did not have so many opportunities to know who god was but all others might have been jews all others who were healed might have been jews but they did not come back sometimes we are born in catholic faith and people accept this faith at some times in their life and we have all the opportunities to know the power of god the power of his name to come close to the miracles he works for us but how zealous we are in our life dear brothers and sisters sometimes when we speak to the non christians the people who earnestly desire to know who jesus is sometimes when we talk to them how zealously how devotedly they are speaking about the lord we have to see the expressions on their face they want to know jesus they want to thank god they are always coming near to the lord but we most often become the people who go away from the lord here this samaritan the foreigner returned to the lord and thanked him so dear brothers and sisters first we have to be thankful toward god himself then he has to lead us to a thankfulness towards our fellow human beings because we human beings are always people who need the longest time to be self sufficient in our life our parents took care of us the elders took care of us and the people nearby us our friends and others took care of us that's why we are here now and we need the help of others so we should always be thankful towards others also that's why the first letter of st john chapter 4 verse 20 st john would tell us i love those who say i love god 
and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. So we have to love, we have to be thankful towards our brothers and sisters also. And these days it happens always the other way, especially towards our parents. Our parents took care of us, but sometimes we forget. There are people who even forget that parents are alive. A few months ago, you also might have noticed a news in the paper. It happened in Mumbai. A son, he was working abroad and he came to see his mother. She was living alone in a flat. He came and knocked at the door. But the door was, the door was not opened. Somehow, he locked the door and got inside his house. The thing he came across was the skeleton of his mother. He was seen as she was sitting on a chair. The police officers asked him, How long it has been since you contacted your mother? He told, I was so busy with my job. So, it has been almost one and a half years since I even heard the voice of my mother. Dear brothers and sisters, this man told, it has been one and a half years since I heard the voice of my mother. There are so many children all around the world who do not even hear the voice of their parents. And now we have to be thankful toward them also. In the first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, St. Paul tells us, chapter 5, Verses from 17 onwards. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. St. Paul says, give thanks in all circumstances. That means we have to thank God not only when our prayers are heard. We have to thank God not only when we are blessed in our life or when we have lot of prosperity, when we have lot of prosperity in our life, but the word reminds us we have to be thankful toward Him all throughout all the moments of our life. Here, this leper was very much grateful toward Jesus, and he returns to the Lord. Jesus is asking an important question to him: Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Jesus is asking, where are others? The same question is raised before every one of us. God asks, how it has happened? Why it has happened that you have forgotten the blessing I have given you? You have forgotten the grace I have given you. Dear brothers and sisters, it should not happen in our life. Because there is only one person who always cares for us. There is only one God who always loves us. And he is Jesus. So, there should not come a time when we forget our God. Then, the last word Jesus said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. Jesus knows, Jesus knows that he had great faith in his heart, though he was a Samaritan. Dear brothers and sisters, I told you, we all have been gifted with so many opportunities to know God. But how much faith we have in our heart? How much gratefulness we have in our heart? Again, St. Paul in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses from 18 onwards, he reminds us, Be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your heart, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give thanks to the Father all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be people always thank God. And this turning back is so important in our life. 
Dear brothers and sisters, let's count all the blessings we have received in our life. And let's all turn back to God to thank Him. And also, let's turn back to others to thank them. It's not enough that we merely say a thank you. But the thank you, the thankfulness should always reflect in our attitude towards others and also towards God. So, today, the gospel reminds us to have a grateful, a thankful heart. May God bless us. Thank you.